Machupo, Lhasa, Junin, Crimean Congo, Ebola, Marburg. As many names for hemorrhagic fevers as there are viruses. Ebola and Marburg belong to the same family of viruses, the Phyloviridae. These are elongated, sometimes oddly shaped, strands. They're classified as Category 4 pathogens. These are the most deadly microorganisms in the world that are only handled under highly protective conditions. Microorganisms for which there is still no vaccine or cure. Just like other viruses, some animals carry Ebola. There's no conclusive proof yet, but it's thought that the virus multiplies very slowly in some bat organs and that bats transmit it to monkeys, chimpanzees, and gorillas, which humans hunt for food, becoming infected when they eat them. There may also be direct transmission from bats to humans when they are butchered for their meat. But in the case of the current epidemic, there's no scientific proof yet to confirm that bushmeat was indeed the source of contamination. The virus, present in an infected person's blood and body fluids, is spread through direct contact. To be infected, all it takes is contaminated bodily fluids to penetrate the skin through the mucous membranes or an open wound. Once it's in the blood, the virus attacks the immune cells. It blocks the release of a protein called interferon which helps to eradicate invading pathogens. The virus uses deactivated immune cells as a means of transport to then infect organs like the liver, thymus, and spleen. At the same time, the invaded immune cells release proteins that form blood clots and block the flow of blood to the vital organs. Deprived of oxygen, the organs fail causing internal or external hemorrhaging. A few days following infection, the first symptoms appear. Aching muscles, migraine, sore throat. They're soon followed by vomiting, diarrhea, and a skin rash. And for some people, internal and external hemorrhaging, bleeding gums and bloody stools. In 25 to 90% of all cases, blood pressure plummets, organs fail, and the infected person dies. 